Now that I have these two walls created, I can do one more thing. As a contractor, I want to be able to estimate this project. And I can go to a quick estimator, which you can, the contractors can buy online, and it can give you the pricing of this project. As you can see, we have base, drainage gravel fabrics, glues, and the types of blocks, and we're going to have frog stone in, involved in the project and the caps. I can send this, and I'll quickly go through this. There's, there's a little more complications in, on setting this program up, but here's what it looks like. I'll export this to a new estimate, and it will go directly to my program, which is I've opened up, and that's Groundworks 2. All walls have been copied to quick, quick Estimator, and I'll say OK. And what I can do is open up the program, and, and I can, I can uh, see what I've got here. And it's just, um, oh, this is Groundworks 2, so I have to change settings. I go to switch databases, a different bat database. There we go. I've, somewhere I've lost the, uh, the particular program or the sample. There it is. Got it. So when I open this up, it should, there it is, Tom White, the Customer information is there. What I ever, what what I put into that uh, estimator or the calculator, I put it in. Hat Street, Atlanta. The project details in place as well, and the calculation or the the estimate is there as well. So I've created a. All the information is popped in. The cubic yards popped in. The cost of those items are popped into place. This particular project is now at $11,252 for the materials only. But there is no labor. There's no subcontractors or equipment. What I can do is go to Options, Add View, and this is, I have a wall assembly, and I can create a frog stone assembly right there with calculator. And if I tab across, I put in the number of square feet, and that's 1340. And it pops in my labor. There's 251 man hours involved in this project. The subcontractors, the amount of materials delivered, the equipment required, and miscellaneous, there's going to be an engineer involved for $500 for, for bidding purposes. And I can also calculate this. And if I have a crew of, I have crew size in the, of three, or there's, they're going to work nine hours a day, and there's going to be four men crew, and I calculate it, and I'll count that this project is going to be scheduled for seven days, and I can, I can now uh, schedule my project. And it gives me the overhead calculations, which I put into the program, and a profit margins, the subtotals, any taxes applicable. And my project is going to be $28,000 for this particular project that we have just done for Tom White. And that's sort of a quick breakdown of how we can start getting to the point where the contractors get more a stronger estimate on their projects and a quick way of doing that. Anyhow, uh, this part is not probably something you'll work on, but it's just a, um, an idea of how, how quickly we can go through that process by going into and sharing this data with our quick estimator.